Before replacing the knife set on a sewage lifting unit, the system must be disconnected from the power supply. Make sure to observe the safety instructions in the operating manual and only allow properly trained personnel to replace the knife set. This video is only a supplement to the operating manual and not a replacement. Therefore, read it carefully before starting work on the unit. You can easily remove the pump from the collecting tank by opening the three clamps on the housing and the quick-release fasteners on the pressure line. The replacement knife set also contains two different spiral housings. The type of housing you need for your pump can be determined by the number of fastening screws and different shape of the connecting areas. Remove the spiral housing first. To do this, use a Torx wrench to loosen the six hexagon socket head screws or the seven cylinder head screws, depending on the type of pump. Then loosen the hexagon socket screw on the knife and remove it together with the impeller. Position the centering dome with the cutting plate and tighten it firmly with the flange screw. Now you can place the new spiral housing onto the pump. Make sure that the boreholes of the spiral housing and the cutting plate line up over each other. First attach the housing with two screws to ensure that the cutting plate is in the correct position when screwing. After attaching the cutting plate, remove the housing again and then the centering dome. Now you can reinstall the impeller on the motor along with the knife. Place the spiral housing back on and tighten the screws crosswise to ensure proper centering. Now you can reinstall the complete pump in the lifting unit and lock it in place with the quick-release fasteners.